Hello, welcome to Nawazi's Creations. And I'm going to try and shoot this video for the fifth time now. So what I want to talk, tell you about is choosing a pattern size. When it comes to choosing a pattern size, it's not the same as when you are at um, your clothing store. No matter what clothing store you're at, you can be at Ross or TJ Maxx or White House Black Market, BCBG. Those store sizes are manufacturer sizes. They have nothing to do with picking an actual pattern size. Your pattern size is going to be different. Probably about a good two sizes different than when you're at the actual store. Because that's just the way it is. I don't know why, but that's just the logistics of everything. Don't ask me why. Ask ask someone else or I'll, you know what maybe I'll find the answer but today's not that day <laughs> so um, when it comes to picking out a pattern the size that you're going to need you're going to take the time to measure yourself or ask someone measure yourself you're going to need to measure for the ladies you need to measure your bust your waist and your hips for sure Gentlemen, you're still going to need to measure your bust, which is your pec area, also your waist area, and you will want to measure your biceps if you're trying to make sleeves for a suit coat or jacket or whatever, um, and length for those things. It just depends on what it is you're making, you know, all those, but the main thing that you're going to generally need is to do your bust, waist, and hips. So with that being said, taking a look at this pattern here. If you notice, it says under body measurements here, uh, yeah, body measurements, your size, your bust, waist, and hips. Based on your bust, waist, and hips, we'll use mine. At the store, I would pick up anywhere between an 8 to a 12, depending on the cut. At the store, that's what I would do. But when it comes to making an actual pattern, Based on this pattern, because every pattern will be a little bit different. Every pattern is not created created equal. So, since I know for a fact that I'm somewhere in between a 36, 38 for my bus, that right here puts me at a 14, 16. Based on my waist, my waist is like anywhere between a 28 to a 32. So, I could go with any one of these three sizes. I'm pretty much probably going to go with the 16. Only because, well, my my hips, my hips are about a 40. So going with a 16 is actually going to be good because if I go exactly where I should go in here somewhere, once you cut fabric, there is no more going back and making it larger. Once you cut fabric, that is it. So it's better to go up one size in patterns just so that you have room for adjustments and making something smaller. It's easier to take something in than it is to take something out because sometimes you have to pretty much add a whole entire gusset for it to work for you. So it's better, go a little bit bigger, go one size up. Once you look at something and you see that your bust, your waist, and your hips are a certain thing and that bottom one is for length, but we're not focusing on that right now. Um, just go up a size. It's better to go up a size. You won't have to worry about all those adjustments needed for later, adding gussets and things. You don't want to do that. Especially if you're starting out for a beginner, you want to make it easy as possible for yourself. So make sure you just cut that one size larger up, cut it out, and then you can go back and make your changes as needed and necessary for yourself. Um, I'm getting ready to make a pattern for a friend of mine, and she's like, make it in a size 12 and I'm like based on your measurements I can't do that I need to go up two sizes because at the store she wears a 12 but in pattern sizes you're not a 12 and she doesn't understand that and that's why she asked me to come make this pattern for her because <laughs> she really liked the pattern so um, I'm going to make it for her. Of course, I'm going to charge her as well. But <clears throat> that's just something for you guys to know that as you are making clothing, just remember that I need to make sure that I'm not basing the size that I cut out for a pattern based on the size that I wear at the store. Always measure yourself properly, bust, waist, and hips. 
so that you can pick the right pattern to cut out and go a size up, especially if your size is in between two different patterns. Go with the bigger size. Say maybe if you got a lot of junk in the trunk, you know, you got a lot of little going on back there. You know, the Lord has blessed you tremendously. Go with that size for that area and then adjust and taper and take in in the other areas versus you trying to add a whole bunch because you base it on the smaller area of your body. Don't do that. Always go for bigger. You can take it in and adjust as needed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.